Hey, what's going on guys? This is Justin at wingsound.com. In this tutorial, you'll learn how to create and construct a new kit within Battery 3. Let's check it out. Okay, so once you've figured out the cells, you know, how many cells you want, rows and columns, now you wanna start loading in your samples for your new drum kit. So one way to do it is to highlight a cell, right click on it and go to add sample. And then you could go look through and find a sample that you'd like to put and drop on that cell so I'll just pick something real quick so you could see whatever okay very easily or another thing you could do is highlight a cell right click on it go to cell library now here is you could load other cells and sounds from other battery drum kits so if you want to make some kind of custom kit out of you know a bunch of different drum kits in battery you could do this here you know let's say you want acoustic kit drums but electronic snares so you can make a custom kit like that and then another thing you could do is choose load cell now this is if you've made a cell previous and you want to load that in or you've downloaded one from maybe a blog or you know the internet somewhere or the native instruments forums and you want to load just that one cell and you could do that from here as well okay let me just delete this okay <clears throat> so the other way that you could load your samples in which is the way i usually work is through the browser tab in the right corner right here so here you got on the left is where you can search through your computer to find your samples. You know, if you got an external hard drive, you could look through it over there. And whatever you do over here will be represented in this middle box right here, you know, bigger so you could navigate easier. And, you know, I'm going to go on my desktop and samples and load up these kits here. I'm going to load up... Uh, the Rollin 707 kit. Okay, so I wanna make a new battery kit of this. So to preview your samples, just click on them. And you could play them. Or you could go to the little play button over here to play them. You know, once you figure out which ones you want, you could just click on them when you have a highlighted cell and they get dropped right there very easily. Or you can grab one click and drag it and place it on a cell very easily okay let me just delete these another thing i want to point out on this browser tab is you have some file information you know it shows you the channel sample rate bit resolution length and file size which is pretty cool you know you'll you could kind of estimate how big this kit is going to be file size wise you know so let's say you have a bunch of samples that you want to put in. So just click the top one, drag down, hold down shift, and you highlight it a whole bunch. And then just click, drag, and drop it. And then you could get into arranging them better, you know, for better organization purposes. Or let's say if you didn't want all of those at the same time, let me just get rid of these. Let me get rid of these real quick. So let's say you only wanted a few at the same time. So you could click on that, hold down command, and then you could select a few at a time and then click, drag, and drop them. Very easily to load up, you know, your sounds. You can always get in touch with Justin at Winksound.com and check out more of Justin's videos, including these titles featuring the new Pro Tools 8, now available on demand at Winksound.com.